Hi, good morning. This is Silvio with High Rise Industries. We are currently in Amityville, uh, Long Island, on the south shore of the Great South Bay. We across the canal. There are two projects here, and we've been involved uh, installing the pilot on both of these two projects. We have begun here about two weeks ago. On this one here, the uh, existing foundation was removed. Start installing helical piles. A uh, concrete grade beam was was formed and poured, and subsequently after that, a new elevated foundation, two feet above the PFE, was constructed. Let me show you. As you can see here, you know, uh, on this project, two different helical piles were installed. We had helical pull down micro piles in the great beams. We went to an average depth about 25 to 30 feet. Uh, SS5s were used, 8, 10, 12 lead. Uh, these piles were grouted. Uh, can't be seen right now, but in case of concrete. And also, inside here, we used underpinning foundation brackets. We were able to utilize the existing foundation, okay, which is a little bit more cheaper version instead of removing everything, utilize the existing, underpinned it, and went with an eight foot foundation on top of it. So this customer is able to save some money, and instead of removing it all, uh, you know, we were efficient, it was fast, uh, the job got, got done much, much faster. Now, let me go across and show what we're doing here. On the second house, we're in the midst of installing helical on the pinning brackets here, where the mark, you know, all these piles have been marked out already. And what we're doing here is customer decided to go with the existing foundation, not to remove it, save some money, and we're going to be building on top of it. Uh, yesterday we begun installing some, you know, some brackets underneath the existing house, as you can see here. Today we're going to do that as well. Now, once the foundation is underpinned, a new foundation six feet will be built, and then the help will get completely dropped down, and she has an elevated foundation two feet above the BFE. Um, here we're going to install it, SS5s, uh, 810 lead, and we're going an average depth of about 15 feet. You know, these are the, the lead sections. 810 lead and a little bit easy to install because uh, because of the angle. You know, a little bit more faster. Here are our brackets. You know, these brackets need to be mounted, secured properly, and then bolted that bolted into the existing foundation. I'm going to show you. We have begun over here. The footing has been chopped off. It's nice, clean to accept the bracket now, and you're about to start. No, we need to install, install underneath the house here because you don't want to damage that driveway. So it's inside and out. You got to see which way you're able to install better. Okay, now towards the front, we have been installing inside the house, underneath the house, and now we begin to install on the outside here, as you can see here, put the pile down, and that's going to get it, and move the foundation bracket. We have installed some of them already, as I mentioned it this morning, and again here. So. Basically, we're utilizing the existing foundation of this house 
and we're building a new one on top of it. As you can see, all this block, the cinder block, has been filled with a concrete grout, fill in the voids, make it more stable, and we put some rebar on it to cap off the new foundation. We're putting some piles here to support this uh, this fireplace here above us, right here. I'm gonna go around and show you. Okay, here we are. You see the fireplace, and homeowner is very sentimental about it. So you want to take it down, and we're supporting that as well. Let me get going. I'll get you guys on the on the end.